So, welcome once again. Another uh, mess about on Kerbal Space Program. Today we've got the um, Mark II, the Gloom and Moon or something. I opted for. <laughs> I was trying to figure out the best way to get some solid boosters involved with all this, and it was really awkward getting it on this section, and that was too close. So this is what I came up with. And let's well, let's give it a shot, shall we? I'm going to turn on the RCS because it is. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh, right, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to fix the bloody order of things, and I'll be right back. Okay, so. Um yes, I fixed the order. Unfortunately, the coupling here <laughs> as is typical with this bloody game uh, yep, had uh, moved down in the order and that was extremely annoying and yep, ruined my day. So right, let's have another go. Um yep, throttle up turn that on, turn that on, go. It's very loud. It's very, very loud. It's also very, very powerful. And I've got a bit of a problem because it was fine before when I first did the test a bit ago. But I've had to add these airlines things here as part of the lander. Oh. Balls, 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 balls. You see, it was working, and now it isn't working. I don't. Uh, I don't know if I'm just going to have to give up on the lander. Right, set it. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, please blow up, please blow up. No, oh, right, there we go, okay. All right, I'm going to pause, I'll be right back, we'll have another go. Okay, uh, take what, three? There's only two things I've changed since the test first test flight I did with this ship. And that was correct a slight abnormality here, which may have been the only thing keeping me stable. And I added those airline thin things which have just taken off. So I have to turn that off. There we go, right. Well, that's not great, is it? Okay, so my fault in my other videos was that I changed my trajectory way too low in the atmosphere so what I'm gonna do now is just f fire it up all the way as high as I can get and just see what happens um, hopefully I can get to maybe 150 K maybe a bit higher and then I can start to adjust my orbit um, I'm hoping I've got this stage, I've got this stage, I've got this stage, I've got this stage. Even if I can't land on the moon, I can do a flyby, I'm hoping. Um, that's steady, which you've seen the last few attempts. I've uh, blown up, oh, it's fallen apart. So, yeah, I'm just gonna pause it for a little bit or we just get a bit more height. I mean, we've got 18 tanks to burn for you, so just to speed this up for you. Okay, okay, we're still climbing. Still climbing. Uh, you know, it could be worse. I guess as soon as we get out of the atmosphere, which. We're gaining some serious speed now. Uh, I'm going to have to throttle back just a little bit. Uh, 
So as we can get out of the set the atmosphere, we can then start to adjust our course and then get into a nice orbit. I hope anyway. Um, seriously terrible at adjusting my trajectory though. I mean it's not even funny. Well, it probably is funny, but yeah. Let's hope this is all in the right order. So we're into our last bank of fuel now. How we're looking. I'm just gonna try and get that 120, I reckon. So it full thrust, let's do this. I'm still dead on course, pretty much. Oh that's new, that's new, that's new. Why has it done that? Why has it done that? Okay, we're nearly... The stage is nearly done. Oh, nice, nice. Tell you what, let's see if I can't save some fuel. So I've got 40,000 feet. To, oh, that's 40 seconds. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't adjust my angle here. I don't know how much to do it by, if I'm honest. I'm making this up. Uh, then when I get nearer this, I'm going to I'm going to make a burn with what's left of this. And facts. So that I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to. Smash that now, okay. Okay, that's fine. We have another, we do have another stage, yep, okay. I am, however, going to kill the engine. Not making as much of the a bit more there we go. I don't know if it sounds like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Plenty of fuel in the stage. I don't know if I'm supposed to be further over. Probably. Yeah, because I want to fire it that way, don't I? So I need to be more like that. Surely. Problem is, I'm going to go past this soon, and I'm going to cock it up again, and I'm going to come back into the ocean, and this is going to be another video where I'm rather frustrated <laughs> because I've not managed to do it yet again. I don't know what I'm doing.
Have I burnt through all of my fuel as well? I pretty much have, you know. close any second now though I'm gonna hear that stage just <laughs> the more and more I play this game the more I'm thinking that time I managed to get to the moon it was just a complete fluke Further from that, I'm gonna oh, run myself a bit more. I am going to put that back on. <sighs> Fire the fuel back up. I, ooh, I really do not have much fuel left. Starting to wonder about my rocket design whether I've severely misunderestimated how much fuel I need in some of these other sections. But, for the first time, I have managed to get a stable, slightly bonky, bonkers, uh, bonkers, I can fix that if I need to. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to pause the video for a bit, I'm going to have a think, um, because I don't have much fuel, in fact, I really don't have much fuel, um, see I should have, okay so that's I shouldn't be using that central fuel tank. So hang on, is that fuel that's... Uh, right, so that's unspent. So that's fine. So I've got one fuel tank. I've got... Oof. I don't think that's enough to get me out of Earth orbit. So I'm really lucky. Then I've got that to slow me down and get me to the moon. And that to get me off the moon. Or just this to get me around the moon. Okay, right, I'm going to pause it and uh, yeah. <laughs> 